Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is iPhone Modder here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some of the new rumors that have come out about the iPhone 5S. It's only been like two or three months since the iPhone 5 came out, but of course, you know, the rumor mill is always churning, so there's got to be a new rumor about the next iPhone. So what we've got here is a picture of the purported iPhone 5S. It's kind of just like the back panel, so basically the main key differences are highlighted in, in the picture, which is going to be somewhere over here. And it basically shows how the screws are in a different location and how things are assembled differently. And well, I know most of you guys are just going to say like, okay, well, there's new screws and it's assembled differently. So why does that matter? Well, the main thing is that it's going to have new internals. And that's why people are trying to call it the iPhone 5S. Because as you can see by the uh, picture that I'm going to show you later on, that it's actually going to be the same exact design as what are in the purported photos. So basically from these pictures, what we can see is that the logic board is assembled differently and possibly uh, just like the panel and the screen is assembled differently. So it can possibly lead to new internals and new processors and etc. Now at this picture you can see that the iPhone part at the bottom actually doesn't say uh, two X's and then a gigabyte so that's why some people are kind of saying that this might have been a prototype of the iPhone 5 which to be honest, I kind of believe that because I don't think we would see something this soon about an iPhone 5S, especially an actual picture of it. I don't think that this is the iPhone 5S, to be honest. I think it was just a prototype of the iPhone 5 that has already been released because it doesn't really have any of those usual things that are quintessential to Apple's prototypes written on the back. And as you can see here, when the iPhone 4 was leaked, it had two X's and then the gigabyte number, but then it says on the iPhone 5 that it's just blank. So that usually means that it's a prototype of a product that's going to be released or has already been started into production. So that's why many people are saying that this is most likely a prototype of the iPhone 5 that has already been released. So overall, yes, I do think this is a prototype of what we have already seen. So there's no reason to get your hopes up. I think in my opinion, this is just all the media outlets trying to get some traction. But in my opinion, there's really nothing to be crazed about or worry about here. But to be honest, I think the transition from the iPhone 5 to the next iPhone is going to be very similar to the transition we saw from the iPhone 4 to 4. 4S, just because that's usually the way Apple likes to do it, like 3G to 3GS, 4 to 4S, etc. And it's very unfortunate because I'm going to be getting the next iPhone and I want to see something uh, reinvented, something new. But I'm not trying to get my hopes up because I know it's probably just going to be the same design, maybe a few tweaks here and there and probably just upgraded specs just to keep up with the Android and Windows Phone marketplace. All right, guys, that's all for this video today. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe if you already haven't. And also, please let me know what you guys are looking forward to in the comments below, and what you think is not going to be there, and what you think is going to be there. And ultimately, have a nice day.